I'm Tom Baker, this is Chasing Cars, and today I'm coming to you not with a review, but with some important news that I think most of you would be interested in, especially our subscribers who've been watching Chasing Cars for some time. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that button. Wouldn't it be great if the 2019 Mazda CX-5 was offered with the same pair of dominant turbocharged engines as the recently updated Mazda 6? The facelifted 2019 Mazda 6 was recently released in Australia with two best-in-class engines. While the 2.5-litre naturally aspirated petrol soldiers on in the lower grades, higher trim 6s are available here with either a 170 kilowatt and 420 newton meter 2.5-litre turbo petrol or a 140 kilowatt and 450 newton meter 2.2-litre twin turbo diesel. Not a bad choice. The only problem is, as good as the Mazda 6 sedan and wagon are, not many people want to buy a conventional mid-sized car these days. It's all about SUVs, and in Australia, the most popular SUV on the market is the Mazda CX-5, which we actually drove together quite recently when that 450 newton meter twin turbo diesel was plonked under the CX-5's bonnet. But when the CX-5 got that new diesel in Australia, there was no word on whether the brilliant turbo petrol originally used in the CX-9 and now found in the Mazda 6, would get fitted to the CX-5. Well, we've cited documents this week that indicate yes, it's likely the 2019 Mazda CX-5 will be offered with the 2.5 litre turbocharged petrol here in Australia. And if the CX-5 Turbo is coming to Australia, there's a good bet some other markets around the world will receive it too. At this stage, it looks like the turbo petrol will be an option on the CX-5 in Australia and only for the top grades called GT and Akira. They'll sit alongside the awesome twin turbo diesel and the existing 140 kilowatt and 252 newton meter 2.5 litre naturally aspirated petrol, which looks like it will stick around as a more cost effective option. But that's not all. We understand the CX-5 is also in for a slight nip and tuck outside and some more comprehensive design changes inside. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also likely to feature on the CX-5, which won't be big news to most of you, being aware of Mazda's plan to roll out these technologies to their range over the next year or so. We also believe the high-grade CX-5, called Akira in Australia, will be upgraded to Nappa leather in a dark color, along with heated and ventilated seats in the front and heated seats in the back. Finally, in Australia, it's likely that more safety technology will become standard across the range, including radar cruise control, lane keep assist, driver attention warning, and auto high beam. So, all in all, it sounds like Australia's best-selling SUV is in for a few very tasty upgrades. We're big fans of the 2.5-litre turbo engine, and we also love the twin-turbo diesel, so being able to choose between those in an SUV that's already great to drive will be amazing. We'll have more of this as it comes, and of course, a very detailed review once we're able to drive the updated 2019 Mazda CX-5.